before starting the unboxing, I just want to say that this will be a super lighting unboxing. Uh, due to the smoke from the wildfires in California and Colorado, uh, the smoke has made its way into the jet stream and is now making its way towards the east coast. So without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing. Inside this box, there's not one model, there's not two, there's not three, there are four models. This is going to be the largest unboxing I have ever done so far on this YouTube channel and in real life. Without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. This box is absolutely massive. Like, it's at least two feet tall. Now, I did get these models off of Diecast Airplane Store. Um, but wow. This is just massive, this box. I can't even fit it on my desk. So I'm gonna put it on the floor and put out the models as I get to them. So, the first model is a quite damaged uh, Spirit NG models, Spirit A321-200. United Airlines Airbus A319, Gemini Jets. Spirit Airlines Airbus A321 by Gemini Jets. And the crown jewel of this unboxing. United Boeing 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. So I think we are going to start with the smallest uh, model first. And that is the United 319. Um, so, looking at the box, it's, uh, just normal Gemini Jets, uh, Gemini Jets logo, United, uh, Airbus 1819, um, it's the side, it's normal, the side, it's normal, the side, it's normal, and the side is normal. Now, this is a 2019 release, uh, United 1819 in the new livery. And, of course, here is the flap, which you guys can pause the video to read. And, of course, there is the model, which we'll get to now. So, inside the box, it's uh, just normal Gemini that's wrapping. Um, you have this thing. This. Oof. And, of course, we have the model, which I'm hoping didn't come broken. And it did not. We'll get on to the details of the models later, but first let's unbox all of the models. So let's put the UA319 to the side. And let's move on to the second model. Let's start with the NG Spirit AC21. Now something that I'm noticing is that these boxes, they look quite damaged. Uh, I, bought, I got this off of Diecast Airplane Store. Really good guys, just go check them out, but they're pretty bombarded. Anywho, let's open the model. You know, I've heard that these models can come broken. I'm hoping they don't come broken now. But anyway, here is the model. Um, it is the Spirit A321 in the Bananas livery. This cardboard foam thingy. Of course, you have the model right here. Oof. Oh, please don't come broken. Uh, okay. So, looking at the model, the model looks really, really nice. Uh, oh. Oh. The wing's a little bit loose. Um. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the wing is a little bit loose. But, uh, other than that, everything else looks fine. So, let's put it off to the side. And, of course, I forgot to show you guys the box. Um. The box is normal NG models. Uh, you got Airbus A321-200, Spirit. You got the clip out of the aircraft. And it, they add their uh, NG out of their slogan, which is uh, "Home of the Bear Fair." Uh, NG models. The side it's the same, same, same. And the back, of course, it shows the same thing and all the warranty information. But anyway, let's get on to the third box. 
Uh, no, I'm sorry that I'm rushing through this. It's just I'm really excited to get to the models. But anywho, this is the Gemini Jet Spirit F-221. Uh, now, the story behind this was I originally didn't intend to get this. I originally um, intended just to get uh, two Spirit NGs. Um, but then I saw a post on Instagram by Citrus Aviation about how good the model was. So I just decided to, heck, uh, get an NG and a Spirit and just compare the two models. Uh, but anyway, let's look at the box first. Uh, you got Gemini Jets, uh, Spirit, if you turn one, need for collectors, buy collectors. The side is the same, same, back is the same, same, and the same. And this is a 2020 release. And then, of course, there is the flap, which y'all can look at. If it'll just focus. Okay. And of course, there's the actual model, which let's get to now. And then, of course, on the inside, it is the normal um, Gemini Jets packaging, of course. You got the foam thing. And then here you have the model. Now, surprisingly, this, um, surprisingly... Citrus Aviation did not lie when he said, or she, he, she said, that this model is very good. I am surprised, Gemini Jets. It even has more details than the NG Spirit, so that's interesting. Um, but like I said, let's now get to the last model. And this is the Crown Jewel. It is... The United Triple Seven Three Hundred in the new livery. Uh, so looking at the box, it's just normal Gemini Jets um, as usual. Got Gemini Jets, uh, the clip art, United Triple Seven Three Hundred. Side, it's the same, 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 and same. And on the back, of course, it is the same. And uh, of course, I will let you guys look at the flap. And of course, here is the model. So now let's open the box. Now, this is actually my first uh, June, um, wide body model. Uh, like, really, really wide body. Um, this is my first, like, United wide body uh, from Gemini Jets. So let's see how they did. And of course, it's just. Oh, of course, it is. Just normal uh, Gemini Jets packaging. Oof. And then you have the foam thing. And then, of course, here's the... Wow! This looks really nice. Here is the model. So, for the details of the model, I think we're going to go from the smallest uh, to the biggest. So, first, let's start with the United A319. So, I'm going to put all of the models to the side. And, of course, we'll start with the United A319. So, starting off with the front of the aircraft, you have the cockpit windows, uh, Star, Star Alliance logo, L1 door, antenna, front landing gear, massive, awesomely well done United titles, good job Gemini, uh, emergency exits, you got the wings with the winglets, uh, antenna, Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, uh, the registration which is November 876 UA and the American flag. And of course, another antenna and the L2 door. And then, of course, you have the marvelously well done United Tail. And you have the Flourish, which I really like that United does that. And on the bottom, you have the Gemini Jets logo. We'll just focus. Now, overall, this is a really well done model by Gemini Jets. Uh, I previously had a United one. Um, but I gave it to my friend. I traded him. I traded Adam uh, for a for the Qantas A380 and uh, Delta MD90 that I have. 
So I decided to get a replacement one just because I love the model so much. And of course, everything else on the model is really well done. Okay, so moving on from that, we have the Gemini Jets Spirit Airbus A321 and the Banana Livery. So, starting off with the front of the aircraft, you have the cockpit windows, uh, L1 door, antenna. Like, I have no idea what that reads. I believe it reads Airbus, but I'll have to check. Uh, but like I said, you have the L1 door, uh, antenna, front landing gear. Uh, Spirit, massive, awesomely well done Spirit titles. Uh, you got the engines, which says Home of the Bear Fair. Uh, and then you have on the winglets, actually says something pretty interesting, it says Howdy, uh, which is um, something that Spirit likes to do on all their uh, aircraft with winglets. Um, and then, like I said, you have Home of the Bear Fair on the engines, you have the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, uh, the antennas, the L2 door, I want to say, the L3 door, um, the American flag, the registration, which is November 672 November Kilo. And of course, you have the classic Spirit Banana Bus tail. And looking on the bottom, you have the Gemini Jets logo. And of course, the rest of the aircraft is yellow. Now, surprisingly, this model didn't actually come broken. Compared to the NG Spirit 321, which has a sort of wobbly wing. I gotta be wary of that. So yeah, that's something that's pretty interesting. Compared to the NG Spirit 321, Gemini actually did much, much better uh, compared to NG. So that's really sort of a rarity nowadays. Um, but anywho, I could marvel at this model all day, but we have to move on. Moving away from this model, we're moving on to the NG model, uh, Spirit A321. Starting at the front, we have the cockpit windows. I believe that says Airbus A320, but it's too small for me to read. Uh, you got the L1 door, uh, antenna, front landing gear, forward landing gear, front landing gear. Uh, massive Spirit titles, you got the winglets um, that say howdy. The engines, it's his home of the bear fair. You got the L2 door, um, antenna, antenna, L3 door, and the, the American flag. The registration, which is November 682. It's hard for me to read. Uh, is it? It is American uh, November 681, uh, November kilo. And then, of course, you have the spirit tail. On the bottom, it's just basically the same as uh, the Gemini Jet Spirit AC21, but except without the Gemini Jets logo. But that's something that really, really shocked me. For once, Gemini Jets actually did better than Spirit. Uh, not Spirit. They actually did better than um, NG models. Like, the wing, I don't know if you guys can see, the wing came loose. And the Gemini one is completely sturdy. The wing on this one is loose. And the wing on the NG is loose. And on the Gemini, it's completely solid. So that is very, very peculiar of Gemini Jets. For once, they actually did a better job than NG. And even the landing gear um, on the NG321 is a little bit rough. So that's something that's pretty interesting about the two models. And now, let's move on to the creme de la creme of this unboxing. The United 777-300ER. So, starting off with the front of the aircraft, we have the cockpit windows, Star Alliance logo, some text that I can't read because it's too small. Actually, maybe can I read it? Yeah, no, it's too small. Uh, L1 door. Massive, awesomely well done United titles. Um, L2 door. Uh, the Wi Fi hub or HUD. The antenna. The L3 door. 
you got the wings with the wonderfully done engines. Good job, Gemini. You got the L4 door, uh, two antennas, the registration, which is November 2749 uniform and the American flag, and the L5 door, along with the United logo and the serial number. And then, of course, on the bottom, you have the Gemini logo. And then you have the classic new livery United Flourish, which I really like about the company. So that's also interesting, like on the Qantas A380, the landing gear, Gemini added on the back landing gear, the suspension. So it's like if you want to make it like a plane taking off, you could do it like this. And when the plane's landing, you can make it do it like this. You could do it like this. So that's something that's really, really interesting uh, about Gemini jets is that they do this, but I don't think NG does it because with my um, SAS A330 over here, the SAS A330's landing gear is just completely still. So that's something that's pretty interesting about uh, Gemini that I really like that they do because it just adds a lot more realism to the model. Um, now I did get all of these models. Um, I did get all of them for uh, EWR. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm trying to replicate EWR with one to 400 die, uh, die cast models. I got the United 7373 um, for their long haul routes. I believe they do it to Mumbai and a few European destinations. I know that they also do um, services with the 7373 to Milan. Uh, um, and I believe they do it to a few other European destinations. And I believe they used to do it or they still do it to Rio de Janeiro from New York, but I'll have to check. Uh, and I also got the two Spirit 321s also for EWR, because um, EWR actually has quite heavy e uh, Spirit traffic. We get like four flights daily. And of course, the United 319, I got it um, also for EWR. So my final thoughts on these models is that overall, these models are very, very nice. With the exception of the pitiful Spirit A321-200. I mean, come on. Like, what is this, NG? What is this? First with my SAS 330 and now with my Spirit 321. Come on, NG. But other than that, if you do need these models, I suggest picking them up at Diecast Airplane Store while they're all still in stock. And if you really, really need it, get the NG. But I suggest getting the Gemini Jets instead. As personally, I think their uh, Spirit 321 is better than the NG 321. And that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and drop me a comment below of what you thought of the video. Uh, now, I will link uh, Diecast Airplane Store in the description, and I will put a discount code. Uh, so if you guys want to buy from Diecast Airplane Store, use the discount code um, in the link below. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.